a new long-duration space flight record, our SpaceX Crew-6 mission is back home, and our asteroid sample return mission is on target. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On September 11th, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio completed his 355th day on board the International Space Station, surpassing the record for the longest single space flight by a U.S. astronaut, which was previously held by NASA's Mark Vandehei. Frank, you've uh, made all kind of records. Agency leadership congratulated Rubio on the accomplishment during a call to the station. By the time Rubio returns home on September 27th, he will have spent about 371 days in space. The crew of our SpaceX Crew-6 mission is back home after spending about six months on the space station. On September 12th, a few crew members, including NASA astronauts Steve Bowen and Woody Holberg, talked about the mission during a news conference at our Johnson Space Center. The highlights of the flight included Bowen's U.S. record-tying 10th career spacewalk. Our OSIRIS-REx spacecraft recently made a course adjustment to better position itself to release a capsule carrying sample material from asteroid Bennu toward the designated landing zone in the Utah desert. The capsule is scheduled to make a parachute-assisted landing on September 24th. OSIRIS-REx is the first U.S. mission to collect a sample from an asteroid. According to our Goddard Institute of Space Studies, the summer of 2023 was our planet's hottest summer since global records began in 1880. June through August was a combined 0.41 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than any other summer in NASA's record. This new record comes as exceptional heat has swept across much of the world, exacerbating deadly wildfires, resulting in searing heat waves, and likely contributing to severe weather. For more details, visit nasa.gov earth. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.